Okay, so it's Christmas Eve. It's 1117 on the East Coast in South Carolina. 1117 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, my plan did not work. <laughs> what I had planned to do was post um, your request individually and caption what you had said because I think song, um, songs that have meaning um, become more meaningful to other people when they realize how they have touched your heart. That has not worked. Um, I can't get one of my iPads to cooperate. So what I'm going to try to do for a little while is sit here and play your request. I'm watching your comments on this iPad. I'm filming from my iPhone and I have my new iPad trying to um, go back to the old comments and I'm going to work forward. So if you understand that fine, if you don't just um, in the old words or the words the old people used to say, pray for us while we try to play. <laughs> anyway, Merry Christmas to y'all.
Thank you.
Okay, I'm trying to watch both iPads and I don't know that I'm doing a very good job with either one, but um, it's about the stroke of Christmas morning. Um, I hope it's okay that we did this. Um, I just, it, it did not work out the way I wanted it to. It was going to be one song at the time recorded, but it just got so cumbersome and then my, anyway, you don't want to know the whole story. Anyway, I hope it's okay that we're just sitting here doing this at this time. Um, yeah. I, and Patsy, I'm going to play I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas only because I have some music that I can kind of um, sort of sight read the lead note. And I don't, I may butcher it, but I'm going to try to do that last so that. Um, if you, if you want to, um, um, if you want to play it for somebody, you know it'll be right at the end. So, anyway, um, let me see what we've got here. Do y'all hear the fireworks? We have fireworks. They do them on the beach, um, and it's, it is really pretty. It's pretty noisy, but it's very pretty. Um, I love them myself. Okay, so this is this is a request that probably didn't come in on here, but it came in earlier, so. Just remember, I asked for your favorites.
need to get your broom or whoever you've got in the room with you. Um, Cause this is just such a good song to just, you know, we don't want you to sin, but you know, <laughs> enjoy um, the, the idea of swaying to the music of nothing else. the comments really closely on this old iPad and I'm afraid, afraid to do too much with it because it will freeze. <clears throat> but anyway, I, you may have seen Michael Pancake just come on and tell everybody Merry Christmas. Michael, thank you for all that you're doing to further gospel music and um, I'm, I'm praying that your CD just is, is wildly successful. I can imagine how beautiful it is. Um, thank you for what you're doing and if you guys um, have a chance, say hello to and Merry Christmas to Michael and thank him for his commitment to furthering gospel music. He plays once a week every every Monday night and um, always it's good whether it's just him or his friends around singing. Um, so thank you, Michael, and Merry Christmas to you too. Okay, okay, Julie, just for you, you're probably in the bed. <laughs>
try something. David um, Johnson and I <clears throat> did the live video last night, and so many of you were so kind to join in and listen. We had practiced this, and I realized today, in the middle of what I was doing, I, that we didn't do it. So I'm, he had the music, and I could sight read it. Um, so I'm going to try this, um, and I may have to stop because I may not remember it. the song that we rehearsed for last night, but I can get through about two phrases of it and then I lose the the, the melody, so sorry about that. Um, I'm probably getting ready to finish up. It's, woo, it's 12.15. Um, and if I don't get to bed, Santa Claus can't come in. I don't know how he's gonna get in because I don't have a chimney, but I'm gonna trust and believe that he's gonna make it. Um, and I believe he will. Um, can I thank you for requesting Come Thou Long Expected Jesus? I love that song, and I never play it. Some of these things we only play once a year, so I get really, really concerned about whether I can remember remember it correctly. So forgive, forgive all of my mistakes. Um, okay. All right, Miss Patsy, are you ready? And if I butcher this, just laugh and go on, because that's what I'm going to do. gist of it. Okay, so I think someone asked for White Christmas. <laughs> and I love, um, and I want to challenge you guys. Go to YouTube, 
um, and listen, that what I played a while ago was two were two songs by the Roots, the sisters. Um, the first one was Lord, I Want Your Presence for Christmas, P-R-E-S-E-N-C, not P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S. Um, and the other was um, Jesus, You Are Him. They are both, the words are just amazing. Um, Please, please listen to those. There's one more that I dearly love, and I, I got to see a, um, a prima ballerina do a, a dance that she had choreographed, and she was dressed in white, um, and it was one of the most touching things that I had ever seen. Um, um, Amy Grant did several years ago on um, Breath of Heaven. Uh, I, I tried to play it. Um, off camera and I couldn't really get it to, to sound like I wanted it to sound so I'm not going to do it but Amy Grant, Breath of Heaven it is, it is an amazing amazing Christmas song um, listen to this this is Mary's story I have traveled Many moonless nights, cold and weary, with a babe inside. And I wonder what I've done, Holy Father. You have come and chosen me now to carry your son. I am, I am waiting in a silent prayer. I am frightened by the load I bear. In a world as cold as stone, must I walk this path alone? Be with me now, be with me now. Breath of heaven, hold me together. Be forever near me, breath of heaven. Breath of heaven, lighten my darkness. Pour over me your holiness. For you are holy, breath of heaven. Do you wonder as you watch my face if a wiser one should have had my place? But I offer all I am for the mercy. Uh, the mercy of your grace. Breath of heaven, hold me together. Have we ever had to pray that? Breath of heaven, be forever near me, breath of heaven. Brighten my darkness, pour over me your holiness, for you are holy, breath of heaven. What amazing, amazing words. Okay, so... You find this, I'm sorry. Um, I'll just play it from memory. <laughs>
Okay, last song. Um, I don't want to seem fanatical, but I guess if I do, it's okay. Um, the, the theme for me this Christmas has been the, the birth of Christ being the origin of salvation. I never really thought about it, or the origin of grace. I uh, never really thought about it, but had the birth not happened, um, our gift of grace would have never manifested itself in the way that it did um, and been so clear to us. Um, and they tell me that there are hundreds of thousands of historians who work on um, defending the, the scriptures as we know the Holy Bible and, and they are defendable um, by academic standards and um, whether they did or not, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Um, but I'm thankful that that Christ was born so that we could have life eternal. Does he love us? Is there any doubt? And we all have our own idiosyncrasies. You know, some of us deal with craziness in our lives. Um, look at me. I'm 60 pounds overweight. I deal with, with food issues every day of my life. Um, um, I don't think that makes God love me any less. It may affect my ministry because people may be offended by that. And, and I pray not, but if they are, you know, I pray that they'll pray for me and, and help me get, get um, develop the habits that I can do to be healthier. But we all, we all have craziness, things. Um, I, I would just ask you in 2022, be careful what you post. Sometimes we share things, we share written things um, that are very hurtful, and we do it with good intentions. Um, and I'll just say this. Um, I'm a seasoned veteran Christian. It's hard to shake me. But um, months and months ago, I had someone, I, I, I saw someone post something about church attendance. Um, and I made a comment that wasn't necessarily nice. And we exchanged some comments. Um, I had maybe, I guess my, I had not taken my Christian pill that day or something, but it hit me the wrong way. And and I said what I truly believe. I mean, I could have said it a lot better. But anyway, enough of that. But they came back and they said, if you don't attend church, you will never see the face of Jesus. And I thought, wow, that's someone perpetuating that grace is not sufficient. That grace has strings attached to it. And in their mind, Church attendance is attached to grace as a necessary means to see the face of Jesus. I struggle with that because what I hear Jesus say is, love me, love the Lord your God with all your heart, and love your neighbor as yourself. Accept grace as what it's going to take to get to heaven. So I would just say in 2022, be careful what you post. I'm going to try to be more careful about how re I respond and respond in a loving way. Um, those of you who really know me you know that I'm a confrontationalist. I don't let many things go by without addressing them. Um, and I need to be better at being more sensitive. And, and there are so many times when we read text either on our phone as a message or we see it on Facebook and it has no inflection and it may not even have the correct um, um, punctuation and we get an entirely different meaning that was intended and and I need to be more careful about that let's be loving Christians not only loving the the body of Christ as the church as we know it but also the kingdom of God um, which includes everybody. Um, let's be better at that. I challenge me. Um, I'm asking you to challenge me to do that. 
don't call me out on here because it won't go well, but send me a private message and say, you know, what about this? Um, don't stand in judgment of me because that won't go well either, but love me. You can say things that are, um, I posted something a couple days ago about Miss Melba Potter. If there's ever been a person who could call me out, it was Melba Potter, but at the same time, she calls me and she says, Riley, this is Melba. I'm just calling to check on you, and I can assure you that when she does, my heart melts, and I completely stop what I'm doing. Anyway, I don't know why I said all that. This is Christmas for me. Thank you for sharing this time. Um, I said all that because I was going to play Jesus Loves Me. He loves us desperately, regardless of where we are. Evil and the darkness would want us to think that Jesus doesn't love us. But he does. And if you think you've been to him too much, that's not him telling you that. That's something else. Go to him. Lean on him. Scry, uh, scream and cry to him. Love him. He loves you regardless. Period. And his grace, grace alone, is sufficient. Merry Christmas.